Mr. Speaker, the Chief of Staff to the Minister of Defence was on the stand at the Norman trial yesterday. Ms. Astrovast was questioned about efforts in the Prime Minister's office to delay the documents in the Norman trial. Can the Prime Minister assure this House that there was no coordinated effort to delay this court case until after the election? The Honourable Minister of Justice. Speaker, as I just said in French, the prosecution in question is being handled by the Public, Service, Public uh, Prosecution Service of Canada, which operates independently from the Department of Justice and my office. Counsel to the Attorney General of Canada is fulfilling all of its obligations uh, before the court with respect to third-party records applications. It is improper, Mr. Speaker, for me to comment further this matter being before the courts. Minister for, or sorry, the Honourable Member for Durham. Mr. Speaker, what's improper is that the Prime Minister moved the Dalton McGuinty Kathleen Wynne team to Ottawa to help run his office, including Ms. Astrovast. She was part of the Liberal team in Ontario that used code words like apple, fruit salad, and vapor to delay and prevent the release of documents in the gas plant scandal. I see a pattern, Mr. Speaker. It's clear the same thing is happening now in the case of the Kraken. Right on. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker, that's the code word for Admiral Norman. When will the Prime Minister stop doing things from the <laughs> Kathleen Wynne cover-up playbook? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, as the Honourable Member well knows, according to the Judice principle, best articulated by, by former Member of Parliament Peter Van Loan, Members are, re are expected to refrain from discussing matters before the courts or under judicial consideration in order to protect those involved, in order to give them the ability to have a fair trial and to be heard in court. Mr. Speaker, the matter will be tried in court, and according to Mr. Van Loan, it is not only improper for me to answer, it is improper for the honourable member to ask the question.